As we've seen, at the atomic level where diode operation is understood, there's a lot of charge movement and separation, resulting in a voltage that occurs when two charged particles are separated from each other. This is the textbook definition of capacitance. There is capacitance in the, CN in the PN junction. Here again, there are two different mechanisms leading to this capacitance. The first is referred to as junction capacitance or depletion layer capacitance. This arises when the junction is reverse biased. If you recall from our studies, we came up with a uh, formula for the charge stored in a reverse biased junction. That was given by this. So the voltage that we're referring to in this charge separation is the voltage, the uh, built-in junction voltage plus the reverse bias voltage, which reinforces one another. This equation is a little overwhelming because of all the, the uh, device parameter characteristics, but we can emphasize the dependence on the reverse bias voltage by taking all of these constants and factoring them out into a term that we'll call alpha, so that the charge stored in the junction is equal to alpha times the square root of that sum, where this is the, the uh, definition of alpha. Now, the capacitance is the slope of this tangent line. It's the slope of the graph where we've got V sub R along this axis and the charge along this axis. And so the capacitance is then the derivative of the charge with respect to V sub R. That then gives us alpha over 2 times the square root of that sum term. We can define another constant, C sub J0 is just alpha over 2 times the square root of V0 to emphasize this dependence on V sub R. And we come up with this expression for the built-in junction capacitance that results from a reverse bias voltage in the junction or the, the PN junction of a diode. As you can see, it's a rather nonlinear dependence on the voltage, but it can be quite useful as a variable capacitor in IC design. Typical values of the junction capacitance can be on the order of picofarads.